with John Crater, the owner of Glenwood. And today we are going to go around to various locations and show you an in-depth technical overview on a couple of different of Glenwood products. So I really hope that you guys find this video helpful. If you enjoy our videos, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There is a link right in the corner. Click it, you'll subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. All right, you're looking at an Econoflame 70, model 7520 built by Glenwood. And uh, <clears throat> this is a, this boiler runs on two types of fuel on used motor oil and similar used oils or on regular heating oil and this we build the, the whole boiler and the burner the burner gun itself is is uh, designed and constructed by glenwood some of the features that go along with this burner burner that make it uh, especially good is uh, number one this uh, this thermostat is a programmable thermostat you can adjust um, you can adjust your preheating temperature with your waste oil and you can also set the temperature at which your oil burner will run this this thermostat controls the whole function of the burner if the oil is not warm enough the burner will not be able to run here we have it set at 160 degrees Will not will not be able to run unless the oil temperature is uh, is at 160. If the oil temperature reaches 180, then the uh, then the preheater shuts off inside the oil burner. The burner functions uh, <clears throat> very easily. There's a there's a primary operation switch here. Uh, up position is for waste oil. Down position is for heating oil center position is off. The down position cuts out the preheating function. Up position, uh, the burner will run off the preheating function. Just starting up right now. This little light right here is a flame indicator telling you that the burner is running if you can't hear it. So we have a, a high viscosity pump that's designed specifically for waste oil and uh, and we also have compressed air. This is a regulator that regulates the oil flow going through the nozzle and the burner. And this is an air compressed, a regulator that regulates the compressed air coming in from an air compressor. And the air compressor is sitting in the corner of the room over there that this runs just off of shop air. And this works just like a, a carburetor, carburetor on an engine. The more fuel you give it, the more air you have to give it. The air is used to, to break the, the oil flow down into a really fine mist. And so the more oil you have coming out the nozzle, the more air pressure you need to break up the oil and keep it burning correctly. There is indicator lights on the burner that tell you when, what is functioning. The red light tells you the preheaters are functioning. The green light will tell you that the burner is in run mode. It may not necessarily be up running, but it will be in run mode. The times when the green light will be on when the burner is off is if the boiler is satisfied. It's not calling for heat. This is all controlled off the water jacket in the boiler, and, um, and so the burner comes on and off just like it would uh, with a regular heating oil burner. Right now, it's the reason you're not seeing it run is because our, our oil temperature is below our 160 degree set point. See that it's not allowing the burner to run now until it reaches 160. Reached 160, green light came on, burner fire. So, when the, this is a little access door for you to inspect the flame safely without opening. You can see that you want a nice bushy flame without a lot of sparks. Um, if, um, if the oil flow is too lean, the flame gets short and it gets sparky. If it's too rich, the flame gets smoky. It starts rolling around in there and it starts doing secondary combustion. So the, the proper the proper setting gives you a nice white bushy flame without sparks and without smoke. 
if when you increase your oil temperature, oil flow I mean, with this regulator right here, you must increase air. 